Welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you all have been waiting for. We are live! 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 You are listening to the live broadcast of your friendly neighborhood stream doctor and Christian apologist. Apologist. The most wanted man, the undisputed, the undefeated public enemy of Islam. Islam. And your favorite YouTuber. Rob Christian, 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 Christian. Please fasten your seatbelts. Houston, we are ready for takeoff. Oh, oh. Let's go, baby. We are live. Live. Hello, guys. How are you? I hope everybody is doing okay. God bless you. Nice to have you on board. Thank you for your support. Hello, Rias Koreshi, C1N9R6V3. Eden, iPhone 3G, Phil Herrera, YP, what's up, what's up? Long years of Jerusalem. Ah, oh, the good admins. Peter the Wall, also here. Peter the Wall. ML Bonsail. XYZ. We have many Muslims who are triggered. That's good. They are really triggered that we spanked Farid for so many times. I really lost count how many times I've spanked this idiot, this coward, this Jaban, who will never face me in a debate. I like it that his minions are manifesting, his little demons are manifesting in our live chat. Imagine if they don't do that. That means we are doing a really bad job, guys. So it's good. Hello, Kifak ya Nur al Masih. Salam al Masih. Lak habibi. Welcome. Kareen, Kareen, Sean K, Baron. All the regular people are here. Mr. Boom Boom, what's up? Uh, so many people already. John Doe, one of the regulars. Christian Apologic. Apologetics, sorry. Tuak Bear, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Agus Kurinawan Jom, shalom to you. Peace of Christ to you. Persecuted.ct, welcome. Lost Found, hello guys. Salamu na'ma, Nur al Masih. Salamu na'ma, Habibi. God bless you. TM Crosspoles, also in the house, one of the admins, welcome. We have the night bot who's going to kick everybody if you don't behave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our bot is really sweet. Uh, last time, as you know, guys, I added him here or added the bot and it started to kick <laughs> almost everyone except the admins. <laughs> so I had to program it during uh, the live show and I fixed it. Hello, Inda. Endo, hello, Inda. Yeah, you're welcome too, my friend. Welcome. Navitz Alfarisi, Sherlock Holmes. Merrick P, what's up, Merrick? True love. Guys, I'm not going to mention all of your names, forgive me, but thank you for being here. Make sure to invite as many people as you can because a lot of people still don't know that we are uh, still banned, guys. We are still banned, as you know. So make sure that everybody uh, knows about it. Uh, I'm thinking about if I am going to be released from 
my bondage on my main channel, I will try to continue here uh, on this channel to make it grow. I think that's probably a good idea, right? Because you never know, right? You never know what is going to happen to our main channel, right? It's under a lot of heat. Uh, guys, when I, when you see me comment in, let's say, on Christian Prince's live chat or other channels with my main account, right? Rob Christian with the letter noon, the Arabic letter noon, that doesn't mean that I'm unbanned, right? I still can comment. I can post comments on the videos. I can comment in the live chat, but that does not mean that I'm unbanned, okay? Some people still don't know or did not figure out how uh, YouTube uh, accounts work. I'm banned from download. Oh, sorry, I'm banned from uploading videos and doing live shows. So that's what banned means as a YouTuber like me, all right? We are not allowed to upload videos. We are still not allowed to do live shows on our main account, all right? It's because of that video that I made about Farid that got me banned, right? His minions started to flag my videos. That's why I got banned. Yeah, upload, uh, not allowed. Live shows, uh, not allowed. Exactly, Rina CP. Welcome, Rina CP. Christian N, all of you who just joined, welcome. We just started. Yeah, so many people still don't know that we are banned. Uh, so spread the news, guys, that we are still live and kicking and we're doing what we have to do on our secondary channel, which is this channel. Many people who do not know that we are banned need to know about it. But I'm thinking when I can finally start uploading uh, videos again in a couple of days, I will basically uh, do a live show and I will post the link in the description box to here to make this channel grow. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to continue uh, doing live shows and upload videos there. I will simply link to this channel. So I think that's a very, very good idea to do so that more uh, people will know about it because we have there almost 23,000 subscribers and here we, we just hit <laughs> the 1,000. So again, thank you guys for the people who subscribe to our backup channel, this channel. Thank you for your support. Without you, we cannot reach those numbers. So uh, so it's an accomplished accomplishment that we just hit 1K. So that's a good thing. And I need it to go even further than that. Let us explode this backup channel too, guys, by telling everybody about it. So, guys, <clears throat> as you know, we uh, chose today's topic. Today's topic is shirk, a.k.a. blasphemy in the Quran and Islam. And I think it's a very, very interesting topic to talk about so now and then. And I'll keep bringing it up because it's causing a lot of damage to Islam. And the Muslims get triggered. You have no idea how many <laughs> flags, uh, how many uh, bans I got in the past because of this very topic, right? Muslims are very, very triggered. And you saw the demons started to manifest already before we even started in the live chat, right? Admins, when you see that dog of Satan, that minion of Fifi, keeps coming with a new different account, keep blocking him, keep... Hiding his account. Don't even give him a timeout. Just block him. All right? We don't have time for kids. C make him hidden completely. Right? So, admins, you have all the rights to do what you have to do. But, of course, if they are sincere Muslims, they are welcome. They are very welcome. We don't hate any Muslim. They are very welcome to have a discussion with us. So, if, if there is a Muslim in the live chat who wants to have it... A civilized, respectful discussion with me, you're very welcome to call me live on air. So if there's a Muslim, give me a one or tell the admins about it. 
So they will highlight my name, so they will send me a message, and I will open my Skype to have a discussion with a Muslim. So only the guests for now, right, guys? Only the guests. You know the basic rules. Later, when we wrap up, when we finish the topic, uh, we will open the phone lines for the Christians too to call in. That's basically the rules that we have for many months now. All right. Uh, today's topic, right? Today's topic, shirk, a.k.a. blasphemy in the Quran and Islam. But before we actually start, you know, I think it's a good habit to always start with a nice prayer. So I want to ask you, everyone who is in the live chat, to pray with me so that our live stream will be blessed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And all the admins, all the audience who are watching now, listening to us, you will be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. بِإِسْمَ الْأَبْ وَالْإِبْنِ وَالْرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to do another live stream again on my backup channel. Please bless our audience, all the admins and our subscribers and supporters. Lord Christ, thank you for coming into this world to save us from death. You came to cleanse our wicked flesh. We are sinners, Lord. But we needed you because without you, we would have been lost. You are the joy to this world. And we are washed and justified in your holy name, the name above all names, O Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the King of kings. Glory to your name. Lord, I want to ask you to keep my wife and baby boy healthy and safe at all times. Please protect them and bless them. And bless everybody who is here now and listening and watching to our very live stream on this backup channel. Thank you for this amazing and lovely audience, supporters and subscribers who kept supporting me for so many months and months and months now. Please bless them. Bless them, Father. Bless all of them, their families and loved ones. And keep all of us healthy and safe. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Please give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into any taqiyya, any makr, any tawriya, any deception or any lie or doubt, O oh Lord. Please allow us to honor you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who are seeking for you, for the truth, because you claim to be al-haq, al-haq, the truth. There, are, there, might be, there might be some Muslims who are actually sincere and are looking for al-haq, the truth. So please open their eyes so also they can be saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth, al-haq, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth. Lord, give us wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. We are live, live, live. We are back, baby. Let's go. Hello, guys. For the people who just joined, welcome. Be blessed in the name of Christ. Salam al Masih. Salam wa ni'mah. Peace and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to all of you, including the Muslims who might be seeking for our Lord Christ. God bless you guys. Please invite everybody that you can. I know that it might be difficult in countries like Indonesia or Pakistan, you know, because we know how hard it is for our friends, our brothers and sisters in Christ to preach about the truth in these countries. So I, I always recommend you to use a VPN. I myself use a VPN. I know it's hard 
for us, for people in the Middle East in or, or such countries to do what we do. So make sure to use a VPN like I do. I've been using VPN for a very, very long time. And I'm more powerful than Allah, actually, because I am everywhere. I can be in a one click of a button. I can be in London. In one of a click of a button, I can be in Africa or Mecca even, if I want to. So, yeah, Allah cannot because Allah is not inside his creation. Allah is the God, the false idol of I cannot. Allah who cannot. Yeah, This reminds me actually of John Damascene. Do you know John Damascene? John of Damascus, one of the most earliest Christian apologist, polemicist of his time in the 6th and 7th century. He was butchering Allah actually and he used to say to the Muslims, you Muslims are cutting off the feet and hands of Allah himself. You are mutilating him by saying that he cannot. He's one of my heroes, man. John of Damascus or John Damascene. You should... Google about him, guys. Uh, yeah. Man, he's, 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 he's one of my heroes, actually. Yohanna min al Dimashq, right? John the Bap, uh, not John the Bap, John of Damascus. Dimashq in Arabic is Damascus, right? Or Bilad al-Sham, depends on how you want to say it. All right, all right. Are you ready, guys? Dimashq, Damascus, yeah, Dimashq. So, guys, are you ready? I said, are you ready? Give me a one if you're ready, because I am ready, baby. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, all right. The topic of today, the blasphemy in the Quran. The blasphemy, blasphemy in the Quran, brother Rob? Are you sure? No way. Get out of here, Rob. The Quran doesn't uh, blaspheme. The Quran doesn't teach blasphemy. Come on. Where did you get that from? What a Muslim say. Rob, it doesn't say that, Rob. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, let us prove these uh, black stone kissing Mohammedans wrong. Let us prove them wrong. <sighs> if you read the Quran or care to read the Quran, I know it's a really messed up book to read. <laughs> the very first time, and that was like 15, almost 16 years ago. I, I actually forgot how many years I'm doing this, but I'm doing this for a long time, guys. And I still did not shave my beard. <laughs> I took a vow where if a Muslim would refute me, I would shave my long beard. So imagine how long. You know, sometimes when I walk, I trip over it. And I still need to shave it when, you know, I need to shave it when a Muslim finally refutes me. Rob, you're finished, Rob. <laughs> All right. Let us start with chapter 23, ayah 14. Chapter 23, ayah 14. Yeah, guys, last time I almost fell from, my, from the stairs, man. I tripped over my own beard. I kid you not. Anyway, look what it says. Then we made the seed a clot, a blood clot. Ah, a nutfa, nutfa, the water of the, wa the woman and the man. Yeah, women in Islam have uh, <coughs> semen, brother. In their breast sickles, right? Muslims in Islam have breast. Yeah, you know. So if I was you guys and I would recite the Shahada one day, I kid you not. Don't marry a Muslim woman because they have sperm in their breasts. Yeah, that's what, that's what the Quran says. Don't blame me. Yeah, don't blame, guys. Don't blame me. Look, it's in front of you. Then we made the seed, the, the nutfa. There's nothing called seed. It's semen. Nutfa means semen. This is a bad translation, brother. Shaker, 
go learn Arabic. Let's see, Arbery maybe. Yeah, see that that's more accurate. Look, it says a drop, a drop of semen. So he is a little bit more honest. Then we created of the drop a clot, a blood clot. So first you have something called living semen of a man or woman, and it turns to a blood clot. So first you are alive in Islam. Basically you are a bunch of uh, living cells, right? Sperm cells. And then you die. <laughs> The cells start to die. It, they become dead blood, a blood clot. You know, we know that a blood clot is dead cells, they dead blood. And it can be very dangerous for a woman to have a blood clot in her body. So, yeah, Muhammad was smart, man. Muhammad was a genius in the 7th century. Look at the genius scientist himself, the illiterate wannabe prophet of Islam. Sci scientist, bro. He was a genius. Right, then we created of the blood clot a tissue. Then we created the tissue bones, and yeah, even here, and the whole the whole so-called embryology stages that are described here in the ayah are nothing but lies. I mean, if Muhammad would have taken biology classes, he would have received an F from his teacher because that's not what scientists or biologists teach. Right? There is nothing called bones, and then the bones are getting covered by flesh. That's a lie from hell. But we know that, uh, and we explained it in many of our live shows before, that Muhammad stole this from Galen. Muhammad stole this from the Greek scientist Galen. Right? Very famous Greek scientist. And Muhammad had access to his books, and we told you that he uh, got it from his Sahabi, the medical doctor, right, who studied in Persia by learning from Galen's book that were translated to Aramaic, right? The works of Galen reached Persia. And this Harith ibn Qallada or Qalda, he later, after graduation in Persia, he went to Mecca and became one of the Sahabis, one of the companions, a Sahabi, a companion of Muhammad, and he even married the aunt of Muhammad. So now you understand how Muhammad got access to the books of Galen, right? To the idea, this false idea in the Quran. I mean, if Galen, if Muhammad actually stole from the work of Galen, that means Galen is a better prophet than Muhammad because Muhammad stole from Galen. Did you caught it? Uh, Sherlock Holmes actually uh, actually I started to talk about this before Christian Prince but don't tell anybody that the works of uh, my research about Galen uh, you know, guys I, God forbid I'm not trying to you know we know what pride does to someone uh, I'm not trying to brag but the work of uh, about Galen it's my work guys and I'm do I've been talking about it for Years and years. So, yeah. Nobody brought it up. Right? Okay. So, inspired or not, I don't care what people... Yeah. I put a lot of effort in, the, in those lines, man. Uh, all right? So, let me continue, guys. Therefore, we produced him as another creature than the last ayah. Uh, the last ayah. So, blessed be Allah... The best of creators. فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ Wait, Muslims. Muslims. Don't you Muslims always say that Allah is the only creator? He created life? Well, it seems that uh, Allah is not the only one. Isn't that a form of shirk here in the ayah? Chapter 23, ayah 14. Any Muslim. Hey, brother Adam Seeker, how are you? Guys, make sure to subscribe to our dear brother, to our dear Kafir brother, Adam Seeker, who left Islam and became a newborn dear brother of ours, a newborn Christian. 
make sure to subscribe. Yeah, Adam Seeker, uh, thank you for your invite yesterday, but uh, I could I really couldn't join. Uh, you sent me the link, but I really could not join. So sorry for that. I would love to, and uh, our sister Carolina also asked me to join, but I really could not. I was uh, in the middle of something, so please forgive me. Yeah, Carolina, Carolina, are, she's amazing, man. Carolina is putting a lot of work in supporting all these channels. God bless her heart, Carolina. You're amazing. I'll keep you in, in my prayers, sister. I love you. The, the amount of work that you're doing, actually all the admins, of course, right? But Carolina, guys, you have no idea what she's doing behind the scenes. Yeah, God bless her. I mean, she's she's from a very dangerous country and the amount of work, guys, I kid you not, the amount of work that such people are putting in, in supporting us and uh, you know the, all the work that she's doing behind the screen in in, her, in the country that she's living in i mean she's a lioness man no no 10 men are doing no 10 christian men here in the west who claim to be christians are doing what she's doing right i kid you not we are, it's honest uh, let's uh, let's be honest christians here in the west these sissified these political correct christians here in the west are only Christians by name. Most of them. I'm not going to, you know. This is honest, honest truth. I mean, if I was a Muslim, guys, if I was a Muslim apologist, I would have at least have 200,000 subscribers by now. But hey, since we are Christian apologists, we might be lucky if we reach 30,000 subscribers. It's, the, it's, it's reality. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm honest. And I'm going to say it as it is, right? I'm not going to be political correct, and I'm not doing this for any lip service. You don't like what we say or do? Please leave. My channel is not for you. So keep uh, the admins in your prayers, guys. Keep Sister Carolina, all the admins, Phil Herrera, all of you. All of the admins in your prayers. They're always doing an amazing job. Brother Adam Seeker, I really liked your live show yesterday, and I hope that you will be here till the end. So... You can call in, bro. You, you know you're your dear brother of mine now, right? So, <clears throat> as you see, guys, it seems that we found blasphemy in the Quran, chapter 23, ayah 14. And many eyes like this, right? And remember, this last part here, anyone knows where this comes from? Admins, if you know the answer, don't, don't answer, okay, admins? I want the other people to Answer my question again. Do you have any idea where this highlighted last part comes from? Muhammad did not invent it. It wasn't Allah who sent it down. It was from Sa'ad bin Abi Sarh. Not Sarah. Sarh. Brother, Adam Siki, a kafir. Ya kafir. You don't know Arabic, man. Yeah, for us, uh, I'm joking, bro. You know. Uh, yeah, from Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh. He used to be a scribe, a writer for Muhammad who wrote ayahs, let's say, on bones, on animal skin. Because remember, back in the old days, uh, the, the scribes of Muhammad used to put ayahs on bones of animals, right? Died animals, slaughtered animals, uh, on animal skin, on even on stones, right? It was... Actually, Uthman, the first guy, Uthman, who ordered Zayd ibn Thabit to finally collect the Quran and make a perfect copy, as if the Quran wasn't perfect yet, right? So it was Abdullah ibn Sarah, Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah, who said this. So Muhammad started to recite this ayah, and he stopped here. Guys, please take notes. This is really important. Muhammad started... To recite the ayah, and then he stopped here, right? Basically, he stopped here. Here, here he stopped, right? This word, Muhammad stopped here. Then Abdullah ibn Abi Sar, his scribe, the one who used to write the ayahs down, he said to Muhammad, after hearing this ayah here, he said, 
فَتَبَارَكَ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ That's what Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah said. And Muhammad, after hearing those words out of the mouth of Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah, Muhammad told him, Yes, 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 brother! Muhammad said, Brother! Jibreel just came and he told me to recite these words too. And then Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah was like, What? No way! Those are my words! So, in other words, Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh thought, if Muhammad is a prophet, and I can create ayahs, words like Muhammad, and claim that and Muhammad claiming that it, it's Allah, it's Jibreel who came to give him these words, so-called divine Quran, divine words from Allah, then I'm a better prophet than Muhammad. And the guy left Islam. I kid you not. So these words are of uh, apostate. <laughs> He left Islam after figuring out that Muhammad is a fake prophet, inventing, fabricating ayahs from his own, stealing words of others. And, and remember, Muhammad's nickname was the ear. And Muhammad was being accused over and over in the Quran itself, you can find it, that he's nothing but uh, a fabricator, a shar, a poet, who used to steal fairy tales, stories from others, right? And the guy left Islam, I kid you not. It's in their books. Yeah, the scammer, fraud prophet Muhammad. So this is example number one. Right? Because how can Allah be one of many creators? I mean, you Muslims always say that Allah is the only creator in Islam. In the Quran. But wait, here we find that Allah has many colleagues in creation. And we know that uh, Isa, who they claim is Jesus, our Jesus, right? The cousin of Moses himself, <laughs> the cousin of Aaron, yeah, that Isa, right? That Isa. And by the way, guys, I kid you not, some people always question, where does the name Isa come from? And I think I will bring that up in maybe my next live show or video I'll see but Isa actually means semen what yes so when uh, the Jews were in the time of Muhammad used to call uh, Jesus Isa they were insulting by calling him sperm God forbid so the, the word Isa is nothing but a sperm yeah yeah really what yeah and see new stuff again yeah, that's, so it's good. People are shocked. So even the word Isa in the Quran is nothing but an insult towards our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Islam, guys, Islam is nothing but a huge insult towards our God. Guys, this is why we always say Islam is nothing but a satanic religion created to attack and rob Jesus Christ, his divinity. This is why I will never ever go easy on Islam or let alone on the fake prophet of Islam. I'm not going to be political. Rob Christian, you're so rude. You're so rude. Go easy, Rob Christian. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rob Christian, you're so rude. Please, Rob. Uh, Rob, go easy on them, Rob. Go easy on Islam, Rob. Yeah, right. As if. Right? And the Antichrist cult, man. So, yeah, you see? Creators, many creators. So, Jesus, who they claim is Isa, in the Quran itself, he is a creator. He creates a bird, right? A living bird. So he's a creator too. Ah, so I understand now that uh, why, why, uh, why it says many creators, right? Muslims. And they say that uh, the shirk is the unforgivable, <laughs> unforgivable sin in Islam. All right. We just showed you that Muhammad, by stealing the words of Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, by stealing his words, Muhammad himself became a mushrik. Right? Muhammad himself became a mushrik in the Quran by stealing that ayah, basically the last part of the ayah, from Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, the scribe. So Muhammad became actually the, the first mushrik. He is a mushrik. And uh, maybe Allah, this is why Allah cut off his 
a order. Right? According to the Quran and the Hadith, Muhammad confirming that that his aorta is being cut off. وَجَدْتُ أَنْ قَطَعَ أَبْهَرِي Muhammad said, I, I feel that my aorta is being cut off. And Allah in the Quran saying, chapter 69, correct me if I'm wrong, was it 69? Right? If Muhammad fabricates something about uh, against Allah, Allah will seize him by his right hand and he will cut off his aorta. So maybe that's the way Allah punished Muhammad, by cutting off his aorta. And I'm not going to try to give Allah any uh, credit, guys. Allah has no power. Allah is Satan. But going by the logic and the words of the Quran and Muhammad, we have to conclude that Allah, according to Islam, he cut off the aorta of Muhammad. One plus one. Right? Yes, we accept calls from Muslims, of course. Didn't we say that? Is Are there Muslims, guys? Is there a Muslim? Do I need to open my Skype? Is there a Muslim? Walkie talkie, do you know any Muslim to open a sky, uh, for my Skype for any Muslim? I want to open it because I receive uh, tons of messages when, I'll, when I'm doing live show. I don't understand why people keep sending me. Okay, now, of course I open my Skype. If there's a Muslim, a Muhammadan, of course. No Muslim? Why not? That's bad. <clears throat> so, let us continue, guys. Yeah, please invite the Muslims, uh, my friend. Please invite Muslims. If you know Muslim, let them come. I want those Muslims who are ready for a nice, civilized discussion. We don't hate Muslims. I want to have a normal discussion with a Muslim who thinks he has the hikmah to step up and defend his prophet for me. Right? Christians, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Muslims, you can uh, give me a dislike. It's okay. Like my nightboard is saying. Muslims, you can drop a dislike. It's all good, brother. We love your dislike. I mean, if we don't get dislike, I mean, we are we're doing a, b a bad job. See, now we have at least five. Keep keep them coming, Muslims. I know you are watching. That's good. That's good. Keep them coming, Muslims. So you see, chapter two, Surah Al Baqarah. Mer the cow. Mer brother. And we told you last time how the name. So Al-Baqarah came to existence for this chapter, right? Slaughtering a cow and start to beating the hell out of a uh, dead Jewish guy to tell uh, the people who killed him. Yeah, Very cute story in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah. Look what it says, chapter 2. Chapter 2. From Al-Baqarah, Ayah 34. And remember... Uh, this word doesn't exist here. Filthy, disgusting translation. Daif, bro. Daif translation, brother. What else is new? And when the when we said, so Allah is a we. You see, we always the we, brother. It's the royal we, ya kafir, ya rob Christian, ya kafir. It's the royal we. That's why Allah is saying we. But brother. The royal we was not even invented. It, it, it just came into existence like a couple years ago, man. Was there a royal we in the time of Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad simply copying the Old Testament, right? Because it makes perfect sense in the Bible for God to say we, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We, three persons, in the Godhead. It makes perfect sense, but it does not make any sense for Allah, who Muslims claim it's uh, one person, brother. It's only Allah, brother. But then why is he saying we? It's on you, Muslims. You need to figure it out. We already figured out, right? But you need to figure it out. You're still in the... You, you took the blue pill, right, Muslims? You, you, still, you are still inside the matrix, right? You took the red... You should have taken the red pill, brother. 
You took the blue pill and you went even deeper inside the rabbit hole. Wow. The demons are manifesting, huh? In the live chat, I see. The demons are manifesting. That's good, that's good. What? The F word? F word? Hmm. Shaitan. Uh, Shaitan ibn Shaitan. Yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban. Call me instead of spamming my live chat. Yeah, Kids, man. You see, Islam actually became a meme in 2021. Only idiots, only the idiots are left in this cult. I kid you not. Smart Muslims are the ex-Muslims, like uh, Brother Adam Seeker, right? Adam Seeker, uh, you know, Adam Seeker. I, I, I don't. I've never seen his face before, and, and I, I don't like him uh, to to show his face. But I, I'm sure he's an ugly dude. But he's a very smart guy. He left Islam after th at least thirty years. This ugly dude left Islam and he became a Christian because he's a smart kid. Maybe he's ugly, but he's smart, right? Uh, I love you, Adam Seeker. Don't worry, Adam Seeker. <laughs> yeah, bro, uh, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I, I'm saying that you are ugly, but bro, you should see my face. Sometimes, when I woke up, when I wake up in the morning and I look at, uh, uh, into the mirror, bro, that mirror gets destroyed. So you see, you understand how ugly I am. I'm not sure if if that happens to you too, but I have to replace my all of my mirrors every day, bro. I'm out of mirrors. Every day I'm out of mirrors. So I have to go to the shop and get me a new mirror. That's how ugly I am. Yeah, the demons are uh, manifesting. Eh? Just hide him, guys. Hide him. Yeah. Sp uh, don't give him a timeout. Uh, just ban him immediately. We don't want kids here. So, yeah. The demons are manifesting. That's a good thing, guys. I mean, imagine if we are not causing them to get triggered, right? They are triggered because they can't handle what we do. Imagine if they, if, uh, if Muslims don't do that. That means we're doing a very bad, poor job. So that's good. It's good to see these little demons manifest in our live chat. And imagine that the, the channel is still small, right? This backup channel is still small. And uh, what about if we go live again on my main channel? We will have even more demons than this. So that's a good thing. It's good. It's good. It's good, baby. It's good. It's good. Okay, let us continue, guys. Let us focus again, guys. Let's focus again. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! The demons are manifesting, brother. Oh, boy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So, guys, uh, chapter 2, chapter 2, ayah 34. And when we said to the angels, Allah claims to be we, bow yourselves. No, it doesn't say bow. Prostrate. Prostrate. Is there any honest translation here? Prostrate, brother. Yeah, kafir, it's prostrate. Yeah, you see? Prostrate. Act of worship, brother. Act of worship. So Allah is asking for shirk. Allah the mushrik. We know it's Muhammad. Allah the mushrik is asking the angels to commit shirk for the sake of a Adam, right? I recall when the, that time, I recall what time we said unto the angels, prostrate. Do sujood. Is judu. Is judu. Li Adam. So prostrate. Do an act of worship to Adam. Prostrate to Adam, brother. And the angels committed shirk and they did sujood. Fasajadu. You see? This is an act of worship in Islam, guys. This word here. They committed shirk because it's an act, right? Act of worship. Right? Act of worship. So Allah is asking for shirk, for blasphemy from the angels. You see? And that's the topic of today, right? Blasphemy in the Quran. Did you catch it? Right? See, Allah himself is asking for shirk. Hey, brother. And they say Islam is a monotheistic religion. Yeah, right. Who are you trying to deceive, boy? Boy, who are you trying to deceive, boy? Allah asking for shirk. And you claim that Islam is a monotheistic religion? Why would Allah, imagine Allah is the king, right? 
Imagine this fairy tale of Muhammad. Allah is the king. Put yourself in his shoes. Allah is the king. He sits on his throne, on his arsh, and he's commanding the angels to prostrate, to do sujood, to do an act of worship towards Adam. Why is that? Does it make any sense, guys? Allah, the king himself, in, 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 in the, basically, the whole, the king, the whole of the king, Adam is there, the angels are there, and Allah, is, as the king himself, asking angels to bow down, to, to, to prostrate in front of another created being. Right? And that's monotheistic religion? You call that a monotheistic religion? Why would Allah do that, man? What is the benefit of this story in the Quran? How does this benefit Islam when we see the shirk in the Quran? Right? Monotheistic religion, brother? Where? Is uh, Guys, is Christian prince life? Or is he going to go live? What time? It's 5 p.m. No way, man. That's bad. CP is going to go live. And I I just started, basically. Mm. I know that he uh, always starts maybe 15 minutes later. So we still have time. Maybe maybe I will go live tonight again or so or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to be a stumbling block for our dear brother. Right? So we'll see. Guys, uh, if he starts, just send me a message and we will stop. And we will continue maybe. Maybe we'll do a part two. What about that? Is that a good idea? Part two? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Part two maybe. We'll see. We'll see, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to do part two today. Maybe I'll do it another time. We'll see. Lord willing, we'll see what, what will happen. So, <clears throat> chapter 2, ayah 34, I hope you took notes. But it seems that the only good guy is the shaitan, Iblis. Iblis. The good guy in this story is Iblis because he refused to commit shirk. So Allah is the bad guy. He is asking his slaves, the angels, to commit shirk. And it seems that the only good guy in, in this whole story is Satan for refusing to bow down to commit shirk towards Adam. So actually, Iblis, who they claim it's Satan, is the good guy. He did not do anything wrong. He simply refused to commit shirk. Right? Guys, did you catch it? I hope you caught it. So Iblis should be uh, saluted. He should be celebrated in Islam because he did not commit shirk. He did not ask for shirk like Allah. Do we? The royal we, brother. <laughs> so who is the good guy? It's Iblis. Do you see? It's Satan. Shaitan, brother. But uh, this hypocrite, idiot, who they call Allah, even punished him for it. Imagine, guys. Imagine. Imagine. You're the good guy in Islam. Allah asks for shirk. You're the good guy. You refuse to do shirk. And you still get punished for it. Ya Munafiq ibn Munafiq, Ya Allah, Ya Allah of Islam. Something wrong with this, uh, with this fake God, man. Something wrong with this fake God, man. Who is the real Satan then? If, 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 if Satan, Shaitan, is not committing shirk, who is the real Satan? Allah or Satan? Huh? Who is the real Satan in this story? Allah or, 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 or Shaitan? Uh, Muslims think, use your brains, man. Is that really hard to figure it out? Do we Christians have to teach you on Quran? Hmm. Wait, dude. Okay, Islam the truth. Do you have Skype? Uh, Islam the truth. Do you have Skype? Call me so I can muzzle you. You have Skype? Islam is the truth. Do you have Skype? Oh, he he just ate his words. Why? Why did you why did you retract your message, man? 
Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, no, sorry, uh, that's not what I'm saying. That's what the Quran is saying, brother. Look, Allah is commanding the angels to do sujood, is judu, fasajadu. So they are the ones who are doing an act of worship because sujood is an act of worship. Allah asking for shirk and they are doing shirk except Satan. So the good guy is Satan. This is pure shirk. This is pure blasphemy in Quran chapter 2 ayah 34. And there's another ayah where Muhammad is repeating, parroting the same ayah in another chapter. You see? I'm not saying it. The Quran is saying that. Allah is commanding them to do that. Don't blame me. I'm only reading, brother. Ya akhi, ya akhi. Ya ruhi. I'm only reading. Ana bas aqra al-Quran. Ana aqra al-Quran. What's your Skype? My Skype is uh, the Arab Christian. Guys, give him my Skype. Let me open Skype. Brada. Yalla, my Skype is open, man. Before the rapture, dude. Before the rapture. My Skype is open, man. Thank you, Sister Carolina. God bless you, Sister. I just saw your message on Skype. Yalla. I don't have all day, man. Any Muslim? Last time, guys, maybe this guy, this kid, he, he won't call. He won't call. Blah, blah, blah. Last time, guys, we showed you chapter 7, I 70, right? You remember? Chapter 7, I 70. You remember? Surah Al Araf, chapter 7, I 70. When we showed you the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Al Quran Al Azim. Tafsir Al Quran Al Azim. Commentary, exegesis on the chapter 7, ayah 70, by Ibn Kathir himself, right? We showed you that, right? Remember? And we showed you how Allah is one of the idols. Ibn Kathir in her reports in his tafsir, right? That Allah is one of the idols. What? No way. Here, look what it says. Al Kufar min Quraysh. If you can read Arabic, you know what? Let me help you out a little bit. Let us go step by step until uh, Christian Prince, our brother, starts his live show. Step by step. The infidels, the Kufar, the Mushrikeen, the, uh, the unbelievers of the Quraysh. Who are the Quraysh? Those are the family, the tribe of Muhammad who used to live in Mecca, right? The Meccans, basically. Right? The Meccans themselves were infidels. The Kufar in Quraysh from Mecca. The Quraysh from Mecca. In Mecca. <sighs> what did they used to do? In Nahum, Kanu Ya'budun Al Asnaman. Right? They used to worship statues, the idols, those Kufar of Quraysh. Now let us copy this part. Before you call me a liar, Google is your friend. They were worshipping idols. Do you see it? So it's talking in context about the tribe of Muhammad, right? Guys, are you following? Are you still following? Hey guys, forget about it. He will not, he will not call me. He's a kid. Coward. My Skype is open, guys. My Skype is open. Look, Skype is open, brother. <clears throat> so these people of Quraysh used to worship idols. That's what Ibn Kathir in chapter 7, ayah 70 of the Quran is saying in his tafsir. This is not my tafsir. I have nothing to do with it. And this is what bin Ishaq is reporting, right? Muhammad bin Ishaq. 
إنهم كانوا يعبدون الأصناما right? They used to worship the idols And then it's, it says One of the idols Was called Sada oh, What did I do? Copy Copy Let me put it here So you can follow step by step An idol is called <laughs> Sada Echo <laughs> uh, Google is translating it literally So one of them was called Sada Right? One of the idols وآخر يقال له صمت copy paste again and another okay this is bad translation but you get the idea and the other idol is called is being called is being called Sodo Somod Somod is being called Somod uh oh remember that where did we find this name before chapter 112 Allah himself being called Somod what yes you're correctly brother Allah the idol that Ibn Kathir is talking about here Allah قل هو الله أحد قل هو الله هو الصمد الله هو الصمد الله الصمد Right? Allahu Samad. So Ibn Kathir is reporting that that same idol is Allah because Allah is the Samad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chapter 7, Ayah 70. Ibn Kathir, brother. Let me give you the link. Let me give you the link again. Did you catch it? And Muslims claim uh, Islam is not a pagan religion, brother. Islam is not a pagan religion. We don't worship pagans, pagan idols. No, really? Yeah, uh, Muslims, you know, Muslim scholars, guys. Muslim scholars, till today, they need to figure out what this word means. You have tons and tons and tons of interpretations for this very word. Because it's not an Arabic word. Allah is that idol, the stone idol. Allah is that statue. He is that statue. Oh, CP just went live, guys. Okay, let us wrap this up now. And we'll see if we're going to go live later. I think we can. So keep an, an eye, guys. Keep an eye on my uh, backup channel, this very channel here. And we'll see what we can do. After CP is done. We'll, we'll see, okay? We'll see. Phil Herrera, if, if Phil Herrera, are you still there? Phil Herrera? Carolina? Uh, the admins? Uh, keep an eye. If if uh, if I reschedule that you can share it on uh, the live chat of CP when, he, when he's going or is about to stop, we'll see if I'm going to reschedule again, right? Yeah, drop a message in CP's chat if you can, if that's okay with you guys. So, guys, let us stop here. And call it part one, maybe. That's a good thing to do. Right? Part one of the blasphemy in the Quran. So guys, I th want to say to you again, it's never enough to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your amazing support, for your donations. Uh, admins, thank you for your amazing work. Taking care of my channel when, while I'm live streaming. Uh, audience, God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Uh, go enjoy our brother's live show, CP's live show, and maybe, Lord willing, maybe we will see each other after that. We'll see. All right, guys? God bless you, and Deus Vult. We will see each other very, very soon again. God bless you, and uh, take care. Jesus is Lord, and Muhammad is nothing but a little puny pagan that he is. Thank you, and see you soon. God bless.